Hi Aries, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Go With The Flow Tarot. To book a private reading, please go to my website. Link is in the bio. All the information will be in the description below this video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all the support that you give, all the love that you show. Angel Squad members and Angel Squad potential members, hello. <laughs> okay, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please. What do we have? Thank you. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please. This is for the new moon, for what to release. So I'm asking the spirit guides and angels to show us how, show us how we are going to release what's not serving us and step into the new. What do we have for the Aries? So far we got asked for help, Aries. Number 35, your soul is struggling to move past the life that needs to be healed. The emotions that are being drawn out are more intense than you can handle on your own. Ask the guides, your angels, or a healer for assistance in moving through this lifetime. One more card, please, for Aries, please. Oh, thank you. Okay. Okay. All right, Aries, what do we got here? Aries, ask for help. This is your main message right now. Confront your emotions, asking for help. Number 13, you have emotions that are being stifled for far too long. Confront these emotions so that you can heal and move forward. Okay, Aries. Somebody could be dealing with a, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn here. I'm feeling someone was was very giving and nurturing towards a <clears throat> particular person. You're needing to ask for help is very important at this time. Um, it seems like you're so, somebody here might be struggling financially, um, needing help right now financially, needing someone to lend a hand. Um, there could be some pregnancy or a mother figure over here that we're dealing with. There's a lot of earth energy here, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. There is some financial help coming in for some of you here. Wow. Mm, my nose was itchy as soon as I said that. There's something financially happening here for you. So if you were worried about finances, I'm feeling like help is coming in. And then for other you that were dealing with the, the Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, there is actually, this is like, okay, Spirit is telling me to focus on what's coming for you. And they're wanting you to let go of this inner conflict. You've been having some inner conflict inside of you. And. <clears throat> wow, there's like a brand new offer. A new opportunity coming in. Um, wow, quick, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn once again. But then there's, a, there's you having this inner conflict, worry. A lot of competition. A lot of competition in your surroundings here. Could be people fighting over you or fighting with you. Confronting your emotions is important. So I'm seeing someone who's trying to get their emotions in check, but it seems like you can't because you're not confronting them. I would say this is uh, needing to become more spiritually grounded. Aries. There's a spiritual aspect of this reading, which I'm going to let you know. The way it's coming out here is a lot of inner conflict, dealing with the very toxic person, people, places, or things that are toxic in your life. There needs to be a death and a rebirth, and there needs a, uh, there's a need for you to get spiritually connected. <sighs> I feel heavy energy a little bit. It's like somebody just needs to move away to calmer water. Somebody here just wants to start fresh, like a whole new world type of thing. Is something here with like feeling like um this like person who's been through a lot, right? So I've been through a lot. I'm feeling like it's back and forth, in and out energy. Like it's like then there's someone like there's literally somebody who comes in and out of your life, and when they do, 
they're always like bringing turmoil and, and needing to go to calmer like waters from this person because when they come around they just leave you in this wounded warrior energy here like you're holding on for dear life it's like but you're holding on to some things from the past that they're gonna ask you to release them let go wow this is at the top of the cards here okay so i have this card like this and i look to my right by accident like i didn't even mean to and then i look and it says let go that's pretty crazy because I was like, you need to let go of something here. There is definitely some justice being served here. Something with justice. Something feeling like if you were feeling. There's a Taurus energy here. A Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy. But Libra mostly. Feeling like you're. Um, something with a, a marriage. With, with something didn't work out here. A relationship old toxic energies but man you are releasing here aries you are releasing you are at this point of like releasing and moving forward you could be holding on too tightly to your to your finances maybe you're um maybe you're saving for something or like you're holding on too tightly for them because you don't need to because like i feel like you just need to get rest first of all you're overworking yourself slow down so down, this could be overworking, over taking care of everyone else, not giving yourself time to start creating new passions, new beginnings. But I do see here for someone that there is burdens ending here. Someone coming towards you. Love here, uh, Gemini energy. I know you worry. I feel like somebody here worries about love a lot. Worries if they're going to have it, if it's going to happen for them. Needing to cut out old energies and like receive this gift that's like being offered to you. So spirits having you confront your emotions, asking for help. Um, there's a lot of like waiting around for something energy. To, uh, Aries, you need to, um, somebody could be dealing with a Taurus. You need to really, it's like. If there's someone here who's confused and you're not seeing things clearly, you feel lost and confused, you need to slow down. <clears throat> look at <clears throat> look at look at what you like what you really want deep down inside, deep down inside. Take your time making decisions because I do see that you have like a lot of decisions here to make. Choices, different choices. There's a some form of celebration coming in for some of you. Um, if you are like invited to some party or something or your friends and family are becoming more celebratory and it's like the mood is shifting, go with that. Be the single you. Cut cut out this toxic energy. Whoever it is that you're holding on to. Um, a Virgo comes up, a Capricorn. <sighs> Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. That could have left somebody out in the cold here. I feel like some, you were left out by somebody here in the cold. And you keep thinking about them. You want victory with this person. And it seems like it's a little bit hard. But I do see some moving forward. Victory coming in. The Wheel of Fortune. Two of Wands. So all, like a, the, world, the world is offering. It's like I'm here. The world is your oyster for some of you. If you were worried about finances. And, and it's like right now. You just need to focus on... It's like, I don't feel like everybody's focused on this energy of like, oh, I can't get over this person. I can't get over this person. What I'm feeling is if you are feeling that way, if you let go of this, your wish fulfillment is here. Like you got a brand new world starting. There's like some form of commu wow, communication coming in. Listen, communication coming in. Leo energy, happiness, right? Make, once you make this decision to move forward and completely let go, move forward the chariot, cancer, energy. Aquarius energy. You just got five Arcanas in a row. That's pretty crazy. That never happens. And I shuffle these cards big time. Six Arcanas in a row. So moving away from this old energy, this this being stubborn, stuck in your ways, or thinking that you have to be like strong for everybody. Listen, confront your emotions, man. Let it go. Be strong because here spirit is bringing you a serious gift. Luck, love, romance. I, I mean, like I'm, I'm seeing it all here for you. All. You're starting new projects. Like this is this is a spirit trying to bring you a gift. Accept it. Don't be stubborn, Aries. The stubborn Aries that you usually are. This is your time to let go. Work on your emotions. Cause I'm I'm seeing for some of you, like 
very guarded energy here. I'm like very, I feel guarded. Like I'm just holding back. I'm stubborn. I'm not trying to, I'm not willing to let go. Um, you know, it's like uh, I'm holding on to things that are not serving me type of thing, right? But you, it's like being the areas that you are. You want to go, 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 go. But you have to have patience. You have to slow down. Take a moment. Think about it. Like, you know, focus on what you want instead of like what you, what you don't got right now, right? Because you got it all. It's just, you just, you know, you want, you want perfection. And there needs to be, <clears throat> excuse me, there needs to be an ending here. It's like you're not, um, when you're manifesting, you got to be careful what you're thinking because you're manifesting at a high rate. So you got to do this slowly and carefully. Don't rush into it, Aries, okay? All right, you guys, I love you. For um, a prior reading, please look at the bottom of this video or go into my bio on Instagram or on YouTube. If you're YouTube, please like, like and share the videos. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all the support you give me. Thank you for your donations. Thank you for everything. I truly appreciate you guys. You keep the channel going and you also keep um, the Angel Squad going where I dedicate my time to healing people and moving forward, okay? All right, guys. I love you. This new moon, this new energy. We're doing a releasing ceremony and everybody should do that ceremony where you take a bath and you release the old and step into the new. Okay? Love and light to you guys. Bye.